All right, and let's come to um, a comfortable seat. And let's tune into a few breaths. So we're gonna first take um, the three part breath, and then we'll also take the warming breath, the Kapalabhati that we've done a couple times. So three part breath, take a hand to your belly and a hand to your heart. Let your eyes close and take a couple deep breaths in and out of the nose, beginning to prepare for some pranayama or breath work. Let's tune into an intention of compassion for ourselves. Throughout this practice, tuning into that place of non-harm, non-violence, making sure that the choices that we make in our practice are really healthy, helpful, compassionate choices for ourselves. So now as we start to focus on the breath, Bring awareness to your belly, expanding and contracting with breath. And try to keep the breath moving in and out of the belly as opposed to moving it thoroughly into the chest. As you inhale and exhale, let your belly expand and contract. And now move that breath up into the rib cage. Your ribs expand outward. So inhale into your belly and your ribs. Exhale back through ribs and belly. Inhale, belly, ribs. Exhale, ribs, belly. One more time this way. Inhale, belly, ribs. Exhale, ribs, belly. And now inhale, belly, ribs, and chest, letting all three parts expand. Exhale back through all three, chest, ribs, belly. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Two more at your own pace. Then releasing your hands down and take just a couple of deep breaths, naturally feeling what is experienced from that breath. Then a hand to your belly again, and this time we'll come back to that Kapalabhati or breath of fire, where your belly moves in and up as you exhale quickly. So take a full deep inhale and exhale. Inhale for your breath. Quick exhales. And release. Releasing your hand down. Just take one more deep breath, allowing yourself to feel and notice. And softly opening your eyes. Reach your arms up overhead. And as you reach up arms overhead, lift through your fingertips and a little bit of movement side to side here through your sides so you get a little longer through your side bodies. And also to help you feel that connection, that breathing through your sitting bones. And now take a hold of your right wrist over your head. And then start to pull elbows apart from each other. And from this place, move your right elbow back in space. Keep your torso and your ribs turning forward, even as you move your right elbow back in space. And plug your right shoulder blade in onto your back. Take one more big breath right here. Keep Pulling apart with your elbows. 
Then release your arms down, give your arms a little bit of a shake. And then inhale, arms overhead, and again, reach. And as you reach, add a little bit of movement side to side, getting into your side bodies a little bit. And now take a hold of your left wrist over your head and start to pull apart. And then move your left elbow back in space, but turn your ribs forward. Plug your shoulder blade onto your back on the left side, take a full big breath. And then release your arms, give them a little shake. And then cactus arms, elbows at 90 degrees, palms are facing forward. And now pull your lower ribs in, but tilt up with your chest. So you're engaging at the upper core. Now, as you exhale and start to draw your elbows in toward each other, try to connect your elbows first and then your hands. Inhale, open it up. And exhale, elbows connect first and then your hands. One more time this way, inhale and exhale. Then release your arms down, switch the cross of your legs and shift your sitting bones. And now elbows come up again to that 90 degree angle, engage your low ribs and cross Left elbow over your right to come to eagle arms or to come to a hug. Lift elbows up to shoulder height and draw shoulder blades onto your back. And now take a big inhale, lift your elbows up, lift your chest up. Exhale, round your upper back, chin tucks in. Take a big breath into that space in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift up, release your arms. Back to cactus here, engage your low ribs. And then right elbow crosses over the left to either come to your eagle or your hug, whichever feels the best. Lift your elbows up, plug your shoulder blades in, then inhale, lift up through your chest and your elbows. Exhale, round in, expanding into the upper back, take a big breath. Then inhale, sit tall, hands come out to your knees and we'll do a little circular motion through our rib cage. So as you exhale, press your spine back, thinking of your low ribs pulling in. Inhale, circle your ribs out to the left, all the way around the front, and exhale back on the right. Now immediately switch sides. Inhale, circle around to the right, and exhale back on the left. Inhale to the left, and exhale on the right. One more time, inhale to the right, and exhale back on the left. Then inhale, sit tall, shift forward on the hands and knees. And from hands and knees, we're gonna do a little bit of scapular work here. We, we know and love those scapular push-ups. So notice your hands, make sure wrist creases are parallel to the front of your mat. Evenly spread your fingertips and press palms and fingertips down. Now rotate elbow pits forward and keep your head lifted to the back plane of your body. Inhale, shoulder blades come together onto your back. Your chest moves toward the ground with your arms staying straight. Exhale, expand into the upper back, letting shoulder blades broaden. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Exhale, shoulder blades apart. Keep going with your breath three more times. And just remember it's a movement of shoulder blades, not a bend to the elbows. That tends to be the tendency if the shoulder blades have a hard time moving. Now expand into the upper back, toes tuck under, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog pose. Keep your elbow pits rotating forward and from lats push out through your hands. And now as you send your sitting bones up, find tone with your low belly and your low glutes. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Feel free to be down on your left knee here. We're going to open and close, but first, send your left hip crease back in space. You're going to keep it back even as you inhale and turn open. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, turn open. And exhale, back to center. One more time. Inhale, open up. Exhale, back to center. Step your right foot forward in between your hands. Feel free to bring your back knee down to get it there. You can have blocks for your hands here if you would like, but center off your hips, extend your heart forward. Take a deep, full breath. 
Good, and set your hands and step all the way back into a plank pose. Feel free to use knees on the ground here. Rotate elbow fits forward and push. Extend your chest forward. And then exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, curl up and open into whatever height cobra your body needs. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Again, rotate elbow fits forward and push. Sitting bones lift, engage low belly and low glutes. And then inhale, lift your left leg. Keep your right hip pressing back and then inhale, open it up and exhale back to center. Inhale, open it up, keep your shoulders steady. Exhale back to center. One more, inhale, open it up and exhale back to center. Step your left foot forward in between your hands. Again, blocks are always okay for you to use underneath your hands here. Center off your hips and draw your heart forward. Take a big, deep breath. Now planting hands, step all the way back into your plank pose. Again, knees are always an option. Rotate elbow fits forward, push, extend your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, curl up and open, wherever that is, shoulders are back. Rotate elbow fits forward. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. Big deep breath. And now walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold in front of your mat. Take an inhale and lengthen part way. Exhale and fold over your legs. Hands to hips, press hips back, lift up and over through your shoulders and rise all the way up to stand. And now we're gonna take a wide stance on our mat so you can turn sideways if you would like to. I'm gonna bring blocks to be close by. And then with your feet wide, think of about wrist distance apart. Turn your feet so that your toes are a little bit in, keep your toe edges parallel to each other. Hands to your hips, a little bend to your knees. Take an inhale, lift up and open through your chest. Exhale, knees bent, hinge at the hips and fold. From this place, release your hands down if you would like to. They can always come to blocks or the floor or whatever you have. And then bend one knee at a time, starting to wake up through hamstrings, through the hips, the low back. And then back into center now, send your sitting bones up, extend your heart forward, then bring hands to hips, inhale, rise. And now turn right foot out. Back foot stays parallel to the back edge of your mat, bend into your front knee, and inhale, lift your arms, warrior two. Opening your front knee up, lift your ribs, lift your chest, gaze over your right fingers. Take a big, deep breath. Hands to hips, turn your right foot so that your feet are parallel, and then turn your left foot out. Bend into your left knee and reach your arms, warrior two. Big, full breath. Good, hands to hips, and work both feet parallel again. This time take hands behind your back to clasp, and lift up and open through your shoulders. Elbows are bent, palms are pressing, and then wrap your elbows back toward each other. Big inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, hinge from the hips to fold. Maybe releasing your head down toward the ground, maybe lifting your arms away from your back, but keep your elbows bent. Take a full deep breath here, tilt your sitting bones up. Then release your hands, hands to your hips, start to extend your heart forward and inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Again, turn your right foot out, bend into your right knee. And this time we'll tick tock a couple of times, moving with our breath. Knee stays open the whole time. Reach your arms, take a full inhale here. Exhale, elbow to your front knee, top arm reaches. 
Inhale, rise back to warrior two. And exhale, reverse, reaching back behind you. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, elbow to your front knee, side angle pose. Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, reverse. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to warrior two, hands to your hips. Front leg becomes straight, turn your feet parallel, and then turn your left foot out. Bend into your left knee, you're finding that stacked place for your shin, knee opening. And the hard part here for most people is to keep that knee opening up. So inhale, arms lift, keep your knee opening. Exhale, elbow to your front knee, side angle pose. Inhale to rise up. And exhale, reverse. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, inhale back to warrior two. Hands to hips, work your front leg towards straight and then bring your feet to parallel. And now walk your feet in toward each other, coming to a mountain pose here, turning your palms forward. Close your eyes and take a full breath. Tuning in, noticing how your body's feeling. Good. Softly open your eyes. And now we're gonna to come to the front of our mats. Blocks handy. We're gonna take our half moon and then after that, if it's in your practice, you can um, work toward candy cane pose or Ardha Chandra Chapasana, where you actually reach back for your foot behind you. Just similar to what we did yesterday with our um, thigh stretch, but it's often handy to have blocks to bring your torso so it can be a little bit more straight ahead. Feet inner hip distance apart and parallel, hands to your hips. Put a little bend to your knees, take an inhale and lift up and open through your chest. Exhale, hinge from your hips to fold. Bring your hands down to your blocks. And notice I'm pretty high, but I have shorty arms. So you may want smaller blocks, you may want bigger blocks, you may want a chair. Send your sitting bones up, extend your heart. Take a full big breath right here. And now we're shifting our weight onto our left foot. So you can always shift your block out a little ways to the left. Begin to lift your right leg behind you. And from this place, we did this in our down dog where we opened and closed our hips. So send your left hip crease back in space and then begin to tip open with your right hip. As you come to this half moon place, draw your shoulder blades onto your back and extend through your heel, extend through your heart, Maybe you stretch up, take a big deep breath. And now tone your belly. You're gonna to start to bend into your front knee and try to softly step back into your warrior two. Big breath. Open your knee up. Exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step back to a plank pose. Rotate elbow pits forward. Knees can always come down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, curl up and open into your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog pose. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold in the front of your mat. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, hands come down to your blocks. And from this place, again, send your sitting bones up, extend your heart, grow long through your spine. And now, right hand can shift to where you need it to be. It can be forward, it can be to the side. You're going to keep your right toes straight ahead as you begin to lift your left leg behind you. Now pause and send your right hip crease back in space, and then open your left hip up. From this place, if you want to, you can take left hand to your hip, but begin to push through your left heel, extend your heart, maybe turn your gaze, maybe stretch up, take a big deep breath. 
Tone your belly. Good, now strong core. Start to bend into your standing knee and shift softly back into your warrior two. Big deep breath. Keep your knee open. Good, exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes, step back to a down dog, and then you have your optional vinyasa here. You can stay in down dog, come to a child's pose, or inhale, come forward into a plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Hands come to your hips, press back your hips, heart lifts and inhale, rise. Okay, so the second time into our half moon, you have the option of bending your knee and taking a hold of your foot behind you if you would like. Perfect. So as you find your feet in a hip distance apart in parallel, hands to your hips, lift your chest, exhale, hinge from the hips and fold. Release hands down to your blocks. And from this place, extend your heart, send your sitting bones up. Left foot first, we'll balance on our left leg, left hand to our block, and start to lift your right leg behind you. And again, send your left hip crease back in space. Now from here, you can come back to your half moon, opening your hip up if you would like. Or keep your hips centered, draw your right knee in toward your chest, to take hold of your right shin, slip your hand down toward your ankle, and then begin to send your thigh back in space, maybe start to open up from here. Take a big deep breath, extend your heart, Engage your foot in your hand if you're holding on to it. Full deep inhale, long full exhale. Good, then gently release your foot, bring both hands back to your blocks and then both feet back to the ground. Second side, right foot balances. And then lift your left leg behind you, pause, and send your right hip crease back in space. You choose, if you took the Ardha Chandra Chapasana variation last time, then maybe try it this time too, pulling your knee in towards your chest, and then slip your hand down your shin to take a hold of your foot. And then begin to press your thigh back and open up. Take a big, deep breath wherever that is for you. Engage your foot in your hand if you have it. Big, full inhale, long, deep exhale. Engage your shoulder blades. Engage your low belly. And then gently release your foot, both hands back to your blocks, both feet back to the ground. Take an inhale and lengthen partway. Exhale and fold. Plant hands and step back. Downward facing dog pose, big deep breath. And then lower knees down, hips to heels, take a child's pose. I like the variation of my elbows up on something, but you can take the variation that works for you. And then let your head rest on something, let your eyes close, take two more full breaths. Then inhale, gently bring yourself back upright to your seat and come all the way down to sitting bones and then all the way down onto your back. Make sure you have props handy. And as you lower onto your back, extend your left leg all the way out against the ground, pull your right knee into your chest, give both feet a flex, and then open your right knee up to the right side. A little bit of movement forward and back with your knee. And then draw your knee across your body, taking a little bit of a spinal twist. Your foot can rest right against your thigh. You can always set something underneath your knee here, but keep your right shoulder on the ground. Even more so, think of your shoulder blade on the ground. Right palm is up if your arm is extended. 
Then inhale back into center, give your knee a squeeze, squishing into your side. And then switch legs, extending your right leg out, draw your left knee in. Take a big deep breath. And then open your left knee up to the left side, foot is flexed. A little forward and back movement here. And the knee comes through center and over to the right side to give you that spinal twist. Again, your foot can rest right against your thigh if that feels good. If your left shoulder is down, then maybe open your left arm up, maybe gaze to the left, big breath. Then inhale back into center and again, squeeze your knee in, giving your gut a little squish. Now both feet on the ground. And from here, we'll take one more pose, which you're welcome to keep for Shavasana if you want to, if it feels good. But feet close to your sitting bones, lift your hips up and slip a prop, whether it's a bolster or a block or a pillow underneath your hips. It could also just be a folded up blanket if this is a little bit much for your back. And now if you'd like to give yourself that added psoas stretch, then feel free to walk your legs out. Maybe reach your arms overhead and take a full big breath. From this place, you can stay right here if this feels really good for your Shavasana. Or you're welcome to walk your feet in and slip your bolster down underneath your legs. Maybe a blanket over your hips. Take a moment to let yourself set up really well to find that resting pose. Find that space to release. to take a deeper breath. Gently add some movement into fingers and toes. As you're ready to bend your knees and lower your side. And slowly push yourself back to your seat. Connect hands together at heart center. And with eyes closed, take a full deep breath. Have a very peaceful, very beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.